We are at the airport today, not because we have a flight to catch, although we do have one of those later on as well, all the way to WA. We're here for a very exciting announcement with Jetstar. We're going to bring you all the details this morning. Today we are at Melbourne Airport for a big announcement from our friends at Jetstar. Check out oh. the plane behind me, brand new livery, that's what they call it in the plane world. Jetstar have paired up with Little Athletics oh. and you'll see this plane flying around the country for the next couple, in, couple of years. Come on in Derek, who is the president of Little Athletics Australia. Derek, what will this mean for all those young little future Olympians? Look, it's a tremendously exciting announcement. If it gives more exposure and promotion to the sport of little athletics around the country, gets more kids, inspires more kids to get involved in sport generally, but little athletics in particular, Excellent. I think it's a wonderful thing. How many kids are we talking about who are involved in little athletics? Around about 100,000 across wow. the country and about 500 centres. You're not going to be running 100 metre races down the aisle, are you? <laughs> Depends how big you make the planes, Maybe. I Maybe. Something for, the, for, something for, something for the later. Yeah. Well, we've got some of the little athletics people down here, the kids down here this morning, going to do a few running exercise, ex running. Clearly, I don't do enough of that. <laughs> They'll be running for us and other exercises. Derek will be along later on too to explain more about the upcoming project at Melbourne Airport to announce a new partnership with Jetstar. By the way, can you imagine if the footy season did go all year, what prize you'd have to then buy the girls when they win the footy? <laughs> oh, Best oh, 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 you, you, you are so mean. <laughs> So we mean. can do a few little athletics, <laughs> folks, <laughs> after <laughs> the weather. Ready, set, go. go! And while the guys run a little relay here on the tarmac, this is Kim Mickle, Commonwealth gold medalist, second in the world in javelin. We won't throw the javelin today. It's a bit windy, we might pierce a fuel tank. But <laughs> tell us, little athletics, what did it mean to you? I loved it. It's, uh, it's a thing that actually I still live off the passion of little athletics. I. Uh, I love doing it with my mates and I love just having the challenge of your own personal best and trying to beat that every single day and I, uh, yeah, li literally I started when I was seven and now I'm 29 and uh, still loving it as much as I loved it as I was a six year old. I guess AFL and NRL, it's so easy for those little kids to get a leg up, they play during the games, but what will it mean for Little Athletics to see this plane flying around for the next couple of years? Oh, I wish I had this when I was a little <laughs> athlete, that was, this is just amazing. Like Our sport unfortunately sort of gets put under the, uh, under the blanket a little bit. Uh, uh, when it comes to a, uh, an Olympic or a Commonwealth Games year, it, it sort of becomes in the spotlight, but then besides from that, it's a little bit of a secret sport. So having a, uh, a plane in the skies and people awesome. are reminding that there's, a, there's a, a sport called athletics out there, hopefully we'll get some more kids involved. And that's what it's all about, training our future Olympics and Commonwealth Games medalists, guys. Mm. That's a great result. All right, Eddie, thank you for that. Probably do with some of your sporting expertise here aboard right. this Jetstar plane because we are about to set a world record, we think, because really, who else would have done it before, uh, of running down a length <laughs> of the entire Jetstar plane. Now, George is down the end, Georgia Bertrand, uh, under 15s. Yes. Multi sport athlete, Shane's the coach and dad. What's involved with training an athlete for an event like this? Well, a lot of speed, yep. um, agility, yep. balance, yep. and spatial awareness because yep. it's a tight area. Yeah, so. dodging around the... I mean, you don't want to go off course here. No, definitely not. You do not, not want to go no, off course. All right. True. Well, without any further ado, ready, set, go, Georgia! How long will it take? Oh, oh come on, is that full pace? Oh, just brings it alive. Was that, was that a bit of job? What was that? Georgia? We wanted sprinting. Was that a job? It was, it's a world record here. <laughs> Take it seriously, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> I ran faster than that down the plane when I had a bad chicken sandwich. <laughs> Those chicken Not on Jetstar, though. Not on, never on Jetstar. Oh, dear. No. <laughs> Georgia, what's the main aim for you? You've been running now for 10 years. Faster than that, we might add. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to try and get for the multi-team for under 15, so that's one of my goals. So, Is it the Olympics one day? Is it the Commonwealth Games? Is that what's in, in your sights? Well, long-term goals, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I'm not going to try and beat your record. Yeah. <laughs> it stands. What is it, Shane? 6.23. 6.23. Faster than Sam's chicken sandwich, I think. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one of my favourite things is Little Athletics. Uh, but years and years involved sucked. in Little Athletics. All my kids did it. And a really uh, good boost for them today, Eddie. 
Yeah, such a great organisation, Koshi. More than 100,000 kids across the country taking part in track and field. And today we are announcing, have a look at this, the livery on the new Jetstar plane, that's a fancy word for the new stickers, features a couple of kids who are stars of little athletics. So imagine having your face flying around the country for the next two years. That is the case for Sean and Gemma, their first time in a plane cockpit, I might add. Gemma, how excited were you when you found out that you were going to be on a Jetstar plane? I was, like, first, like, I pinched myself to see if I was dreaming. Um, <laughs> and there's... I just can't really explain it. It's just, like, so good. Why do you think you were chosen? Um, because of, like, my face. You had, like, like, a really determined <laughs> racing face on, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is that is that your racing face all the time? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, not sure. What do you specialise in? Tell me, what, what track or field events? Um, I like the 60-metre huddles um, and long jump. Good work. And what about Sean? Mate, this is the big announcement today, so what do you think your friends are going to think when you're uh, flying around the country uh, on the side of a plane? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really told anyone. Any of my friends yet? Haven't Excellent. What do you specialise in? Uh, I do jumps and hurdles. How old are you now? 15. 15? Yeah. So you'll be 17 by the time this plane stops flying. It's harder to interview teenage boys than Mark Holden yeah. sometimes. <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> You're pumped? Not really. Hate that You're true. thrilled? A little bit. I'm thrilled for you, mate. I'm thrilled for you. Let's have a look at the weather. Welcome to my life. Here this morning. It's a big day for Jetstar. It's a big day for Little Athletics Australia. We're here with Jane Herdlicker, the group CEO of Jetstar. This is the first time that the airline has partnered with a community organisation. Why Little Athletics and why is it so important? We're incredibly proud of the relationship we've got with Little Athletics. It's the first time for us to partnership with a community based organisation that is so good for kids, great for families. Little Athletics stands for fun, family values and bringing activity and, and fitness into everybody's lives. It's going to help so many kids right across the country who are training to be future Olympians, future Commonwealth Game medalists. Tell me, how many outfits do you have that are orange and black? Orange and black is a really <laughs> important staple in every Jetstar employee's wardrobe. But the great thing about Little Athletics too is it's bringing the best out in every child. So not just Olympic athletes or professional athlete hopefuls. It brings the best out in everyone, and that's a really important value from a Jetstar standpoint. Well, thanks for joining us this morning. I'll talk to you a little bit later about getting the Sunrise Weather Team our own plane, but first let's have a look at the weather. Thank you. To introduce you to Jetstar Jack, who is the on-ground reporter here today, officially in charge of interviewing all the athletics, putting together a report that will be distributed on social media. Jack, why do you think you were chosen for the role? Charisma? I know. Um Excellent. Uh, good stuff. Um, can you name the full list of the Pakistani cricket team? No. No. <laughs> uh, do you so I'm not a fan of cricket. You're not a fan of cricket? Fair enough. Well, that's fair enough. Um, would you like to be a reporter when you grow up? Well, no. I would actually like to be an actor. Oh, right. An actor. There you go. Well, you know, fine. How old is he? Jack here first, guys. How old? How old are you, Jack? Um, today I'm turning seven because it's my birthday. Yes, oh, right. goodness. excellent. So yesterday you were six. Really getting up in the world. Happy birthday, uh, Jack. Thank you very much, Jack. Happy birthday to you. Enjoy the day reporting. What a and um, oh. No, 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 you go right, mate. You've got stuff to do. You've got stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. He's got talent. We'll see you from... He's, he's pretty mad. good. I think he's he's on the right path to actually becoming an actor one of these yeah, days. Yeah, too right. All yeah, right, Eddie, thank you. Pretty good, huh? Thank you. See I was you from Perth tomorrow. See, see, oh, I was from Perth. We'll see you then. I was